Following up a project means carrying out the control process to ensure that the plan is being executed as foreseen. To do this, actual work that has been inserted should be compared to the baseline of the project. The baseline of the project is a set of the plan's data that will serve as a parameter for comparison with the execution of the project. It is just like an exact photo of how the plan should be executed. Click on Tools, Tracking, Save Baseline. Choose Save Baseline and define if the saving command for the baseline should apply to the entire project or just to the selected tasks. In the view Tracking Gantt, a static bar can be observed under each activity. This is the baseline. The baseline saves the following information regarding a project. Starting and finish dates, duration, work applied to resources and to tasks, costs of resources and tasks, divided tasks, work divided into stages, costs divided into stages. In case you need to clear the baseline, click on Tools, Tracking, Clear Baseline. Click on Clear Baseline Plan and then on OK. project started on the scheduled date and it is now January the 14th, the date signalled by a dotted line on the Gantt chart. Click the right button of the mouse on the toolbar area. Choose Tracking. This toolbar has been specially developed to facilitate follow-up of the project. To determine work progress of a task, just select it and click on the percentage of finish. Observe on the Gantt control chart, bars representing concluded tasks are painted in blue. The script writer has already been working on writing the script for four days and will still need one more day to conclude the job. Click on Update Tasks and determine the actual duration as four days and the remaining duration as one day. Observe that the duration of this task has been increased to five days and on the chart the percentage of finish is now 80%. Click on View, Table, Cost and observe that this shows a variation of $150 for the cost of this task. Click on View, Table, Variance. Apart from the chart you can check the delay observing the columns Start Variance and finish variants. We will now update the project for the date of January the 20th. The task, script writing, has been concluded. The task customer analysis has taken just one day. This reduction has cancelled out the project delay. The other tasks have been performed as scheduled. Select them and click on Update as Scheduled. Click on View, Table, Tracking. You can also monitor the progress of activities using this table. The columns Actual Cost and Actual Work determine what really happened during the execution of the project. When the status of finish of a task is filled in, the project automatically updates these columns. Click on Tools, Options. In the palette, Calculation. Disable the options, Updating Task Status updates Resource Status, and Actual Costs are always calculated by Microsoft Project if you prefer to manually fill in the values of these columns. We will again update the project on the date, February the 2nd. Click on Tools, Tracking, Update Project. In the field Update Workers Complete Through, choose February the 2nd. 
In the other options, you can determine if the project shall define a percentage of finish for the tasks, or zero for non-concluded ones and 100 for those entirely concluded. Observe on the tracking Gantt that the tasks to be finished by February the 2nd show a finish percentage of 75%. Return to the box, Update Project, and determine that the project shall update the work as concluded until 6 p.m. of February the 2nd. Due to technical problems, the video editing task can only start on February the 5th. To determine this date, click on Tools, Tracking, Update Project. Enable the checkbox Reschedule Uncompleted Work to Start After and fill in February the 5th at 8 o'clock. We will now go to the finish date of the project, February the 16th. The remaining tasks have progressed as scheduled. To indicate this, select them and click on 100%. Our project has been concluded. To check if it has been successful, you can map its right hits and mistakes by consulting the tables and reports provided by the project. I hope that this course has helped you to improve your work and, above all, shown the importance of this fascinating area, which is project management. Thank you and success always.